Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Spark of Flying Designs. Today, we are working on the October Junk Journal. Um, it's been quite a trial. My creative juices, which sounds really disgusting, haven't really been flowing. Uh, they were in the very beginning of what you're getting ready to watch, but when it came to working on the cover, what I wanted to do, and then when I got to looking at it, it was just all kind of meh. So this may be part one of two. Um, I'm going to show you what I've got so far, and then I kind of got to the point, it was like, well, you know, what do we want to do? So uh, what we may do is come back, we, you know, me and my mouse, Actually, I need to say me and my sloth or me and my penguin, but anyway, so I'll come back and maybe midway through October, show you what we've done so far and then how we're going to finish it up. Um, I also have some ideas for next year on changing up the junk journal once again. So with that being said, excuse me, with that being said, let's get started. All right, so we are gonna work on October junk journal. I'm gonna try with one of these flexible um, plastic composition notebooks. This one actually is a uh, college ruled, which um, usually I'm using the larger ruled. This is an actual preferred size for me, but anyway. This one only had, I believe, well, I've already pulled the stickers off of all the all the others that I bought, but this one I believe only had 80 pages, so I glued them all together like I normally would, and then this is going to hopefully only be October, um, and with my double spread that should be almost perfect. Um, so let's get started. Um, I really kind of wanted to do a retro, non-spooky, just kind of cutesy October spread. So we're gonna see where we start with that. Um, also, I have a few, I need to maybe print out some more, but I have a few. These were actually in uh, some of my fall ones, and so I'm gonna put these in the beginning because I wanna use them because this one says why I like, like October, and it's got some cutesy things. And um, I'm gonna use this one for October, and then, that one I'll probably use next month, the next month for November. And then here, somewhere, yeah, down here it says October. So I'm going to use these, and then I'm going to use some of these darker fall ones. And then we're going to go more Halloween. So let me take a look here. Here are some of the papers that I'm planning on using. Uh, some of them I've got doubles of, so let me... Let me flip through these for you guys. Rude, I can't get them apart. This one's got balloons and candy, and this one's got candy and candy. So here are just some of the patterns that I'm gonna use. This one's kind of a dark rainbow kind of theme, but uh, I thought it was cute. So we're gonna maybe incorporate it because of Halloween and dark and all that. And I've got a few more of these. That, that one's kind of got some pink, which I may or may not use. I'm not a big into skulls, but I thought I'd at least print a couple just in case. This is supposed to be gl uh, purple glitter, but it's not really glitter. It's just a sticker paper and this one too. So we'll get started. I know that's not enough uh, to even get all the way through but uh, I do have some papers to incorporate. The black roses I thought were kind of cool. And I've got some purple paper. I've got some yellow and some orange and some things over here as well. Um, here are the washi tapes. I don't have a lot of Halloween. The only Halloween one I have is this one right here, this purple one. But I figure the black and the orange, the brown probably needs to come out. But the black and the orange and the white that one probably needs to come out too. It's not really orange. Anywho, so we're going to try these and they'll probably run out, but hopefully I've got enough to at least get us going. 
All right, so I'm going to just throw some music on and get going.
Okay, so we're back and it is all dry. I don't know if this is fully the way I want it to look, but it's what we're gonna at least start with. Start putting the cover together. I still need to do some um, cutting on my Cricut for a few things that I want on the, the cover, like a moon and a couple other things, and I think I've got it written down somewhere. Um, I'm thinking about maybe kind of putting this on here I don't know for the sky that's the only piece I have so I don't know how well that's going to look with what I've got going on um I want to kind of maybe make me a full moon or a crescent moon I haven't quite decided and then I need to put some little glowing windows in my little house and I need to put my tree but I might actually need to darken up a little bit. I haven't decided. And then I'm not sure, I'm a little worried about what it's gonna be like once I get it all on and glued. Is it gonna be sturdy enough? Because you know, this is anything but sturdy. So I'm not really sure. I may have to forgo this and do something else and then do this theme on one of the others that's a little bit thicker cover but that is what I'm going for right now okay so I let things dry a little bit just kind of got some wacky crazy stuff going on <clears throat> I don't even have all the pages covered this far um, I'm gonna be doing more of this kind of thing to do my journaling on, especially when I have a busy background. I think I'm gonna like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna be cutting those out on the Cricut as well, like on these pages. And then I went here in the back. I'm pretty sure, and I'm, I'm gonna wait until the end, but I'm pretty sure that this, oh wait, that's not even right. I am pretty, pretty sure, <coughs> excuse me, this is my Halloween, this is going to be my Halloween day. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. <coughs> so this is going to be October the 31st. And then I think I want this to be the 30th. I really like that rose. I'm going to have to get back and get some. I wasn't really sure what I'd use it for, but I'm not a rose fan, but I'm really, I'm really liking the way it looks, and I'm really liking the way it looks on the paper with the white lines showing through. I don't know why, but I, but I really like it. And then um, I went in and just put some pages in that I could go ahead and stick in today. And then I'll have some pages that I'll probably gelato on as well. I don't have a big variety of Halloween pages, but it's just 30 days, so I kind of figure, you know, make do with what you've got, at least for this year.
All right, so I glued my tree down. It still has a couple of little spots where I might wanna tuck a little more glue in. Once I'm done today, I might do that at the very end. Um, I've also been looking at my ghost stickers and I'm not 100% sure what I wanna do um, I didn't want to do any of the ones I have that are like kind of 3D that have the extra piece because I'm afraid I'll be touching it and they'll get ripped off or sticking them in my bag, they'll get ripped off. This ghost, I'm not 100% sure about. Um, I guess I could shorten him a little bit or something, but he's not screaming at me. So I think, I think what I'm going to do is I really wanted to go the ghost route, but I'm thinking that I'm either going to go... I'm either going to go this ghost or I might do the skeleton because he's pretty stinking cute. I might put him right there actually. I also need to figure out, I think, um, I think I'm going to use this, but I don't 100% know because I know I've put this on the front of a junk journal before and it didn't want to stick real well. And then also, um, but look how pretty that is. Very sparkly and pretty. I think, I think I want to maybe do October down the side, but I don't know. I'd love to use this, but I don't know one if I'll be able to cut out the letters big enough but small enough that they come out well because this is so thin. And two, once I put them on, are they going to fully stick because the surface still, even though I've, even though I've painted it and I have Mod Podged it, um, it's still this slick material and I'm not exactly sure how well it's going to stick. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna put some music on try to finish the cover up a little bit uh, and then maybe do some more work back here. We've got about, you know, I would say over half because here's my last day and this, most of those are done. So actually we're pretty much done with just putting papers down. So let's work on this a little bit and then I may close part one.
Y'all go out and spread God's love and have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. See you soon.